Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here, and I appreciate all the ATM Mini Pro questions. And this is a response to Lenny's question. And he's like, "Hey man, you know how do you how do you share your computer screen during a you know a web conference or a live broadcast or whatever?" Actually, it's quite simple. So this monitor that you see in front of me, this physical monitor, just a standard computer monitor, but it is connected to the ATM Mini Pro output. So what you're seeing here is coming from the ATM Mini Pro, and this is what's called multi-view. So you can see your pre uh, preview, which I don't have anything plugged into camera one currently, so it's just black. And then program is what your uh, viewers will see. So how do I do this? Well, I've got this cable here that's running into camera number two on the ATM Mini Pro. So that's camera two. And then again, that cable runs from here over to my laptop and plugs into the, it's just a USB-C cable. And you can see here on camera two, that's what's I, what I see on my laptop's monitor. Now, like any externally connected monitor, you could use extend display or mirror display. Currently it's, it's mirrored, so I can see, it sees what my laptop screen sees, but I could do extended display and it would function like a secondary monitor. You know, if you didn't want people to see everything on your laptop's desktop, if you wanted to act as if you had a, a uh, an extended monitor, you could just, you know, within your operating system settings, toggle between mirror display and extend display. Again, completely up to you. But this is how this part works. So if you want your viewers to see your computer screen, whether it's your your primary screen on your laptop or whatever's functioning as an extended display. In my case, it's plugged into camera two. So all that I do is I push camera two, which is button two, and see now in my preview, you can see the screen, but it's not live yet. So to make it live, I push auto. And see now when I push auto, now my audience, whether it's web conference, YouTube live or whatever, they're seeing my computer screen. So see whatever I do over here, they can see if I'm in mirror mode. But if I'm in extended display, it's a little bit different because if you're if you're doing mirror, it's easy. You can look at your presenter laptop and you see here exactly what they see there. But if you're in extended display, this is probably not gonna be large enough for you to tell what's going on. So here's how you deal with that. Within your ATEM software control, and again, your, your ATEM Mini Pro will have to be connected to the same network. And if it is, launch your ATEM software control and then go to output. And within output, select camera two. I selected camera three. Select camera two. And see now, you can see what looks just like a, a regular monitor. You know, we've got this. This is very large. It's easy to see. But instead of being a regular monitor, this is what the viewers are seeing. And again, this is all coming out. This physical monitor here, this screen, this physical screen is plugged into the output of the ATEM Mini Pro. So this is actually just a live view of what my viewers are seeing. But if I'm using extended display mode within my operating system, I can go to full screen like this. Again, just go to output and select whatever camera on your ATEM is, is the computer and then you'll get full screen like this. Or you can go back to multi-view, you know, if you don't need to see that close up. So it's pretty simple. I hope this makes more sense. I know it's a little bit confusing to explain. But just think of this. Again, the ATEM Mini Pro, this monitor is just showing what's coming out of the ATEM Mini Pro. So right now I'm showing multi-view, but if I want to go full screen with, um, you know, with my with my camera two, which is this computer screen share, I'll go to camera two and see now I've got full screen. So if I was working as extended monitor, which I'm using mirrored, so in a mirrored scenario, I could just use my presenter laptop. But if I wasn't, I could flip this output over to camera two and make it full screen. And I could use this just like a computer monitor with the difference being that even though it's functioning just like a computer monitor, this is what my viewers are seeing. So I'm able to do whatever within whatever I'm sharing, whether it's a PowerPoint or a, you know, a, you know, a, a website or whatever, whatever I'm sharing, I can just manipulate that here. And that's exactly what my live audience is seeing. 
So again, just another ATEM Mini Pro tutorial video. Keep the questions coming, man. I'm looking for all the questions y'all got. I'm trying to do everything I can to answer your questions. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. And also, if you really want to support my channel, if you're looking for the ATEM Mini Pro, any of the accessories, any of the other equipment like I use, expand this video's description and then click the link there. Also, you can choose to support me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Irix guy. Again, I'm an independent YouTuber and I'm just trying to provide value and, you know, and, you know, your, your support helps. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day and don't forget to ring that bell icon when you subscribe. Hey y'all, Captain Irix guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix guy and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.